Hello, Comfy Futons here, and welcome to my 10th game commentary. I'm going to be playing Zillion today. I'm pretty excited because I've been playing with Zillion for quite a while, and I feel like I'm actually good enough now to put out some quality gameplay with him. As you can see, my nice skin. I'm playing with Burlymon as Misfortune, and Summoner Bob as Ezreal, and we also have a random Nunu and Sona. Um, my Summoner spells, I get Clarity and Ghost because really you want a lot of mana with him. And Ghost really helps. I get on almost all my champions. I go 9 in offense and 21 in utility. Because I'm going to be doing more of a support build today with Zillion. You can go straight ability power or you can also go cooldown reduction support. Which is really helpful for the team. It just depends on what you want. Um, I've done both and I seem to like this a little better. Uh, so I'm going to be going bottom and I get boots first. I end up with the uh, random Sona on bottom. And we find out that we have Ash and Malphite in our lane. Ash throws her little sight bird thing. I don't know why she got that first. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I would usually get that big ranged slow thing first. But, uh, oh, oh well, whatever she wants. But anyway, as you can see, uh, I'm wearing down Zillion a lot with all my bombs. That's one thing about or wearing down Malphite a lot with all my bombs. That's one thing about Zillion. He's just great with the bombs, and I really, like, I want to show you here how you can just run in, put a bomb on someone, and it's just a huge range. A lot of people seem to not even know how big of a range it is, because, like, I just keep going in there and sniping this bomb on Ash right here, as you can see, and it's just incredible how much damage you could eventually do to her. Put another one on her there, and then I just hide in the edge of this bush. I know I only need one more bomb to kill him as long as I can get to Ash. So I just wait for her to come up, use Ghost, go in there, double bomber, and she's dead, just like that. So it's just a great way to harass an early game. And unless they're pretty good, they're, it's very hard to avoid the bombs. I even I have a lot of trouble avoiding them, even though I know Zillion, know his range. A lot of times you can really tower dive with Zillion, because you don't really have to do damage until you put that bomb on them. And I really thought I got Malphite here, but I guess he used a health potion or something, because he was really low. But that was a perfect example of how you can get Zillion and use your uh, use Ghost and use your speed up ability. I really haven't talked about his abilities yet. Um, his Q move is a delayed time bomb. Uh, his W move reduces the cooldowns of all his other moves by 10 seconds. His E move um, speeds up an ally or slows down an enemy. And his ultimate brings you back to life. And I'll show you that in a minute, I think. But uh, Zillion is real real dependent on cooldowns and it's actually difficult to understand like exactly how it works unless you played them a few times because you really have to work with your cooldown reduction move that reduces the cooldown of everything else because if you get cooldown reduction items too like I'm doing this game you could actually just almost spam that uh, W move and have your ultimate back within like 30 seconds or so Another, uh, Zillion uses tons of moves, so another great option with him is getting the, uh, item that makes you get more mana every time you use a move. Uh, Archangel Staff, I think. That's a great option with him because of that feature of his playstyle. As you can see here, we're, uh, killing a tower, and, uh, the minions start to come up. I, we decide to just kill the tower, and uh, as you can see, this is how you really, this is one of my strategies of killing minions. I use my time bomb, I use my cooldown reduction, and I use another time bomb and put them on the two groups because usually minions come in two little bunches. So, especially when you get more ability power, I like to put one on each of the bunches so that um, I can try to kill them both. As you get more ability power, you could actually one shot them. But sometimes I'll hit each minion once and then put a bomb on them, or I'll put a bomb and hit each minion once to get them to like 70%, so then my bomb can actually kill them. I try to do a little damage to Malphite here, and Ash comes in. Sona uses her ultimate at a very bad angle. I guess she thought Ash was going to chase us more, which is actually kind of a good thought. We run in there. I put a couple more bombs on Ash, get her at about half health. You see just the incredible power of those bombs. And I'm not even going on ability power spec. I haven't really gotten any ability power items yet. So it, it's really, really a strong move. I, I've got it up to 1,000 damage when I actually go ability power. But I do think it's better for the team if you do go with uh, the cooldown reduction and utility and mana regeneration spec. As you can see, I got the uh, the boots first for the magic resist, and I've gotten the uh, going for the soul shroud, I think it's called, which reduces your cooldowns. I decide to go up uh, above that 
tree line to uh, try to avoid Jax. I didn't know if he was going to try to chase me. I haven't really seen him this game, so I don't know how strong he is yet. I decided to stick around, but we just go back because there's not really much we could do. I, I don't think Sona and Zillion is a really good match for Malphite and a Jax and an Ash. So, <laughs> but anyway, we end up back on bottom, and Ash comes out of here and tries to chase me. I'm going to show you, uh, I'm level 8 now, so I've gotten my ultimate, and as you say, I slow down Jax with that move, and I use my ultimate here so I could stick around a little bit and do a little more damage. One thing with Zillion is that if you use your ultimate, you could actually stick around, because if the players are smart, they'll actually stop targeting you, because they know you're just going to come back to life. So usually you can use your ultimate and stick around, do a ton more damage, and you're almost like this untouchable target because people don't want to you just come back to life with like half health again especially towards the end of the game when you rank up your ultimate a lot um, I come back to health with I come back to life with almost full health so after I've gone back there I've decided to go top I slow down this Swain and me and Burlymon try to get him down a lot we get him to about half but with that uh, with his uh, Raven move thing he gets a lot of his health back so um, we don't really get him down but we come up to this turret and start attacking it. I decide to go in and try to dive him a little bit with my speed up. I don't really gain anything off, but I go to the side in this bush, and my, then my team comes in, and they also try to chase him down. I go back in, use a couple time bombs, try to slow him a little bit, and we eventually get the kill. And I'm just totally unaware here, but Malphite comes straight through that wall and just dominates me. I was, I was almost laughing when that happened. He definitely deserved that kill. That was amazing. And as you can see now, they are both chasing Nunu, and Burlymon pulls off uh, a great uh, make it rain shot and slows them both so him and Nunu can get away. I finish up that item, and uh, I'm going to be coming back here to middle to help uh, Burlymon and Summoner Bob. Uh, we've come here, and we see that there's a Malphite and a Jax, and we're just doing the turret dance right now, because there's really nothing we can do. I see uh, him recalling, so I use my ultimate on myself. Actually, not yet. Oh yeah, there we go. I use my ultimate on myself and speed myself up and try to catch Jax, but Malphite comes back out. I put a bomb on him, make sure to throw one more of my auto attacks at him, and I end up getting the kill. Summoner Bob shoots his ultimate over there, but uh, unfortunately he misses Jax, or he hits him and he has really low health, which seems to happen a lot with those type of ultimates. You end up doing 600 damage to him, but then they end with 5 health, and like, what are the chances? It seems like it happens more than it should. But anyway, we're killing this turret here. And I want to show you this in really slow motion, because this is one of the things, that real technical thing. See how Summoner Bob's getting hit by this turret, and if we have really good team communication, he could have taken one more hit for me, and I could have gotten away here. But I end up getting killed, because we don't really have that communication, and I think that's what separates the really good people from the, like, pretty good people, or the decent people, or the bad people. There's just so many little technical things in this game. There's so many tiny things you could do that really affect everything. So if I could have told him, take one more hit for the turret for me, I could have gotten away there easily. So, uh, oh well though. It, I can't blame him at all because it, that would be almost impossible to notice at those speeds. But that's really what separates people. I'm going up top now, clearing a little bit more minions. Just hanging out for a while and I'm going to recall. i just trying to farm a little bit because Zillion is a little hard to kill minions until you get late game and you get tons of ability power, which I really don't have for this build. This is actually not a very good farming build. But I'm recalling. I'm going to uh, try to get uh, my Rigel's, or Rial's Crystal Scepter and get my Giant's Belt. I go for kind of defensive and cooldown reduction because I really like Zillion. He he's almost like a tank if you finish this build up. Um, so that's really a really cool thing about him. Uh, we're doing a bit of a team fight up here. I sped it up because it's uh, kind of boring and don't want these videos to be too long. But anyway, nothing really exciting happens, just back and forth. Um, we've, uh, yeah. Um, well, Zillion, I guess I'll just talk about him a little more. Uh, he's a little bit of a hard champion to play. I've been playing him for a really long time now. I want to just, all his moves. You have to actually pick the target. His bombs, you can put on enemies, or you can put on um, allies, or minions, or anything. So you have to make sure you get on the right guy. A lot of times, if there's like a champion and a clump of minions, I'll actually miss the champion and hit the minions. So you got to really practice your aim with him. Also, when you're speeding up, slowing down people, you got to really be fast with your mouse clicks to get over and pick the right people, and to slow people down before they get out of range, to keep yourself moving in that direction while you use your moves. It takes quite a bit of practice. 
And uh, also your ultimate, you really got to watch around you for people dying and really choose who to pick it on. Because I can't even count on my, how many times I've missed my ultimate when I really should have hit it. I did pretty well this game with it, but anyway, I get hit by an ash arrow there and four people come out of almost nowhere. I use my ultimate here. I probably wasted it, but the cooldown's so short at this point that I can't, <laughs> I don't really care. So, but anyway, sometimes you could actually use your ultimate, and if people don't know Zillion too well, you could actually get out of there. Here, Nunu comes up, and Malzahar uses his ultimate on Nunu, and I stick around and do as much damage to him as I can. Nunu gets away, luckily, and I end, get, get, end up getting the kill on Malzahar, which was great. And then I go up here. I usually try to go in bushes to recall, unless there's a Teemo on their team, just in case. Then I could see people sneaking up on me, so I recall there. And after, uh that back I go bottom and we try to get a little bit of a Jackson Ash. Um, we see Malzahar here too. Nunu uses his ultimate and actually only hits uh, only hits Malphite. If he hit Jax he would have got that kill so that was kind of unlucky that he got out of there. But anyway, uh, Malzahar comes up here and obviously picks me because I'm the lowest target and I end up dying here again. Um, I'm 3-4-2 I'm and two now. It's not too great of a score but I've really done a lot of help on the team and that's one thing about uh, doing a zillion like this with a support zillion um, you, you're not gonna have too great of a score at the end I mean sometimes you have a lot of assists but really it's the little things that help like uh, all the bringing back to life all the speeding up all the saving people uh, really you can help your team so much with slowing down of enemies to get kills the speeding up of your allies to be able to let them get away saving your allies with your ultimate at this point they have all come in. I want you to watch new and uh, all the ultimates there. Basically, everyone used their ultimate. Time bomb, the Sona ultimate, the new new ultimate. Just great area of effect damage, and we totally dominate their team right there. I think I get a kill and three assists or something, or two kills and two assists. But yeah, we, we just killed four of their team like they were butter. And even though we're actually negative in kills now, we push towers like a boss. I mean. Uh, they haven't killed any of their towers, and we're all the way in here. And they end up with a surrender vote, and we end up winning the game. Um, there's your victory with Zillion. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. We all played pretty well, so um, I hope you got some good tips. I think I got all I wanted to talk about Zillion out. So um, here's the score screen. Um, you can see uh, I did pretty well, 4-4-4. Four, four, and four. Burly Man didn't do as well. Summoner Bob did great as usual. Ezreal's one of his best characters. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.